We're in the lab of the Smithsonian's Insect Zoo, but that name is a little wrong because we have a lot more than insects here. Technically, we are an arthropod zoo. So what is an arthropod? It's actually pretty simple. It's a group of animals with specific characteristics. The main one being a jointed leg or foot, and that's where the name arthropod comes from. They also have a hard outer shell or exoskeleton, and they're bilaterally symmetrical, which means if you drew an imaginary line down the middle, they'd be virtually identical on both sides. Scientists have divided arthropods into five major groups. Those are the millipede, the centipede, the crustaceans, the arachnids, and of course, the insects. So if we're looking at these five major groups of arthropods, how do we tell which is which? How do they fit in their groups? Well, they each have defining characteristics. Millipedes are a long, thin, slow-moving animal, and they're segmented, and they have four legs for each of those segments. A centipede is a long, thin, predatory animal. They're amazing hunters and very fast. And their main characteristics, they have two legs for each of their body segments. The crustaceans have 10 or more legs in pairs. They have two pairs of antenna, and they have two main body regions, the abdomen and the cephalothorax. Arachnids, the group which includes spiders and scorpions, have eight legs in pairs, no antenna, and one or two body regions. If it's two body regions, they're called the cephalothorax and the abdomen. Insects, one of the most diverse group of arthropods, can be characterized through its three body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. They have a pair of antenna. Some have wings. But most importantly, they have six legs in pairs.